This happened almost six years ago. I was out with my friends on a quiet Thursday night. We had just gotten our motorcycle licenses. We hung out at a coffee shop to chit chat. To be honest, we were feeling a little bit bored as there were no plans at the time. We were finding interesting topics to talk about and we started talking about the scariest places in Singapore. A few places that were mentioned were Old Changi Hospital, Lim Chu Kang Cemetery, and the Neo Teo Estate. I asked them about the Neo Teo Estate as I have never heard of that place before. One of my friends said that it is an abandoned HDB estate in Singapore. He said that that place was extremely haunted as it has been abandoned for decades. I then asked if any of them have been there before. One of them answered yes. He described his experience at the site as feeling a sense of fear and horror, and he heard strange noises coming from the levels above. At that time, I was the thrill seeker and an adventurer, and I asked what if we went there now? Would they be brave enough? Half of my friends got excited at the idea and the other half started to worry. We finally decided to head there with our motorcycles and see if it is really haunted as they say it is. It was around 11pm when we started to depart from the coffee shop and head for the abandoned estate. I was very excited and a little fearful. When we reached the entrance of the abandoned estate, we were immediately greeted by overgrown grass covering the bottom of the estate. It was clear that no one has been there for a long time. We then slowly ventured into the void decks of the estate. The place was extremely dark with almost nothing lighting our path except for the gloomy moonlight. As we were walking, we started to see the various graffitis covering the walls of the estate. We then came across a door. We debated on whether we were brave enough to do it, fearing what might be on the other side. I then gathered my courage to open the door. As soon as the door was open, a rotting smell flew towards me. All of us could smell it. It smelled almost as if there has been something decomposing in there and the smell has been contained until I opened the door. I almost vomited from the stench, but none of us said anything. I remember that old folks used to say that if there's something supernatural happening, the best thing to do is ignore it. And so we did. We continued to walk and explore the place. We decided to take a break under the void deck of the estate. Well, Neo Tio Estate wasn't a tall building. It was just a few levels high. So, during the times when we were talking, there were awkward silences. And during those awkward silences, we could hear stuff like glass breaking and falling. It would stop for a while, but then it would continue again. My eyes then were shifting to see if I could spot anything unusual. I wish I didn't done that. Far away from the void deck, I noticed something flying from one tree to another. When I saw it, I immediately shut my eyes and uttered prayers. My friend asked me why, what was wrong, and I said that I think we should leave this area. We then decided to depart from the place and head back to the coffee shop which was open 24 hours. I then told my friends what I had seen and they said that these kind of places are usually haunted because they have been abandoned for a really long time. After a few hours at the coffee shop, the feeling of fear had passed. I felt tired and I wanted to head home earlier. One of my friends then asked me if I really want to head home first. I said that a few hours have passed and I think it is going to be fine. So I left. 
The time was almost 3.30 am. I had to ride my bike along these quiet roads. The ride to my house was a bit strange as I felt like there was extra weight on the back of my motorcycle. The weight felt like as if there was someone behind me. I tried my hardest to ignore it, but there was no denying that I got goosebumps all the way home. I quickly parked my bike and walked towards the lift. The feeling of fear came over me again as I felt as if there was someone behind me. Then I thought maybe it's just me overthinking and I'm just scaring myself for nothing. As I approached my house, everything went normally. I went inside, took a shower and went to bed. Every night, I sleep with the windows open as the aircon in my room was damaged. When I'm in the house, I thought that I was safe, but I was wrong. My eyes suddenly glanced towards the open window and I saw a figure crouching on the air conditioner vent outside my window. The figure was staring at me with an extremely white eyes and gaping mouth. The fear I felt at that time was almost indescribable. Then, I quickly ran to the door of my room and shut it immediately. I spent the night in my living room, unable to forget the horrifying face that I have seen. The next day, I reached out to my dad and told him what happened the night before. He then asked his friends to come to the house to conduct prayers and my dad's friend who was a specialist in dealing with the supernatural then conduct a cleansing of the house so that nothing could come in. He said that this wasn't a guarantee that the house is safe because if the spirits enter the house, it would be harder to get rid of it. He asked me if I could explain what exactly happened, so I did. He said that the spirit that I saw that night was a Pontiana and we were disturbing her area when we were exploring. Till today, I will never forget this experience and thankfully, that night was the last time I saw the Pontiana. And now, I will always avoid going to haunted or abandoned places. For now, I would always close my windows and curtains fully before I sleep, hoping to not see any supernatural things outside my window. Thank you for listening to Supernatural Stories. Like if you like it and please subscribe and share with your friends. Good night.